Happy Halloween, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Scott Moore. I'm the VP of Marketing at PeerBridge, and as you come to learn today, a huge comic book fan. We thought Halloween would be a suitable day for a superhero-themed panel discussion, and same-day delivery can be that superhero, a hero to your colleagues, to your customers, and to your business. When most of us think about same-day delivery, we think of office shipping, but same-day shipping isn't just for envelopes anymore. It's increasingly used in B2C and B2B shipping scenarios. Urgency and proximity drive same-day office delivery. And while urgency is often at the heart of B2C and B2B delivery, it's also driven by customer expectations, the desire for convenience, and the need for instant gratification. In the B2C scenarios, we can think of the wedding dress getting to the chapel on time to save a marriage, or a more mundane example like planning a dinner menu in the morning and having the ingredients arrive before the family gets home or the guests arrive. In the B2B scenario, it's easy to see a critical part arriving quickly to limit the amount of downtime on a production line. But same day delivery now runs the gamut from envelopes to parcels to LTL shipments right up to heavy freight. Imagine a scenario where construction materials can arrive on site on short notice to save a company a steep daily production fine. This is now a reality. Today we're going to explore these challenges and solutions of same day delivery across these three scenarios. And we've assembled a crack team of industry experts with different skills, experiences, uh, and superpowers. Our first panelist is Jim Clifford from ConnectShip. He has over 30 years of supply chain insights. Jim is like the Iron Man Tony Stark uh, character from Marvel. As Iron Man, he has acted as a trusted advisor hero for retail customers and their omni-channel problems. As Tony Stark, he leads product innovation at ConnectShip to develop new ways to foster customer e-commerce growth. Our next panelist is Lance Healy, the co-founder and CIO of Banyan Technology. Don't let his Clark Kent look fool you. Behind that mild-mannered alter ego is a true shipping superman. High shipping costs are his kryptonite. He has delivered logistics solutions for over 20 years for the consumers of LTL services from retail to commercial and industrial. Our last panelist is Bob Malley, the managing director of PeerBridge. Like Professor X or Charles Xavier from the X-Men, he is the mastermind behind shipping technologies like Tracer Research, Keywell Clipper Ship, and now PeerBridge's Transstream Parcel TMS. Let's jump into the challenges part of our discussion, the problems threatening the shipping world, the enterprise control issues, customer expectations, and shipping cost supervillains that keep us up awake at night. Um, I'll ask Bob our first question. Haven't office environments always used same-day couriers? Yes, they have. Uh, thank you, Scott. Yes, they have used... Uh, local carriers, same day carriers for obviously many, many years in the form of uh, messenger services and, and couriers. Um, but the challenge for large organizations, particularly those governed by uh, Sarbanes-Oxley, is one of cost control, being able to track and report against and uh, you know expenditures across all carriers. So uh, those companies have, put, have implemented systems uh, that track postage and I would say the large carriers, national carriers, and even regional carriers, uh, but they've never really tracked uh, in the past uh, the local carrier uh, expenditures. And most of those are uh, incurred uh, through the local carrier website or, or by phone. So what that results in is a you know, loss of visibility of 100% uh, of the transportation costs and uh, an inability to reconcile those expenses and later on in financing. So that's, uh, that's a critical issue that uh, has traditionally uh, affected the use of uh, local carrier services. Thanks, Bob. Um, Jim, can you give us some examples of where you see the demand for same day increasing? Thanks, Scott. Uh, more than 51% of retailers now uh, offer same day delivery and 65% of them plan to migrate into that space. So it's uh, 
in terms of an omni-channel, it actually is a pillar that is being built out. For example, the customer is now coming to this retail experience and expecting that. And we'll see that more and more as the buying uh, age demographic moves lower down the line. The other thing we're noticing is customers will abandon shopping carts. So if the same day is not an option, and whether or not that particular item is needed same day, we often know that emotions outweigh logic when it comes to retail. And so retailers are, are picking up on that as well and making sure that that is an option that's offered in their omni-channel uh, as they approach their customer base. And then in closing, delivering a seamless experience through the entire process is absolutely critical. And we're in the space now that if you don't have it, you're at a loss. And that's where retailers are starting to see that it's a, a come to work item to gain more conversions at the cart. Great, thanks Jim. Um, Lance, a question for you. How are same day deliveries impacting traditional LTL and heavy commercial freight? Yeah, the, uh, there's, there's two main issues of uh, kind of the challenges of incorporating same day. Uh, into the heavy commercial space, uh, certainly heavy haul and last mile. Uh, the first is really the LTL networks themselves are not well equipped uh, to to have a same day um, operation. A lot of them are trying; they're introducing some some new steps, um, but they're really based on hub and spoke, uh, bring it into a terminal, then take it out the next day, uh, or through a line haul, et cetera. Um, the equipment, the drivers aren't really trained in residential delivery, uh, which is where a lot of that market is, is being driven. Um, and then the, the second piece is uh, for challenges around the same day delivery is, is actually incorporating the, the providers of the, of the same day and especially the heavy haul same day delivery folks um, into a traditional TMS or a, a kind of a digital logistics environment. Um, that has been uh, largely managed on phone calls, emails, post-it notes, um, and as a result has been very inefficient um, and not really scalable uh, to incorporate in a, in a large scale. Thanks, Lance. Uh, lots of opportunities there for action. Um, let's turn our attention to the solutions of these challenges technology implementation, shipping cost cutting, local carriers, and integrating shipping functionality. First question to Lance, um, how are companies implementing same-day services into their freight TMS systems? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and to address that, that, that critical problem, um, there is you know, the, the power of uh, bringing APIs um, to bear and allow the computers to do uh, a lot of the mundane busy work um, is they can connect uh, directly to a host of, of, uh, of different providers on different platforms uh, and be able to incorporate that into their digital mix of freight. Um, so what they're able to do is actually uh, incorporate the um, and see the rates coming in, uh, the service times right next to their traditional LTL providers um, so they can make the right decision uh, in, in the right instance. And in a lot of times, um, they'd be able to kind of uh, incorporate that and switch that mode up um, uh, with, without using post-it notes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lance. Um, Bob, let's a uh, question for you. What are the benefits of incorporating local carrier services within a multi-carrier office shipping solution? Well, I suppose the most, the most important one uh, is resolving the critical issue that uh, I, I talked about earlier, and that is um, by not incorporating local carriers uh, into an enterprise uh, shipping system, uh, uh, companies, particularly large ones with many locations and maybe could be thousands of employees uh, using that system to ship, uh, UPS, FedEx, and regional carriers, and post and postage. Um, having the availability of uh, local carriers on that same platform uh, gives uh, finance and an admin, and certainly accounts payable, and if it's a public company, 
um, those responsible for Sarbanes-Oxley compliance. It gives them the ability to have a more complete picture of uh, transportation spend. Um, I guess secondly, it also, it also enables uh, companies to exert more control over uh, decision-making processes, uh, how carriers are selected, how they're vetted, uh, how to help employees through the booking process, because most employees who ship probably don't ship all that much. And so having a, a workflow that is uh, automated and, and accurate uh, is important. And I suppose lastly, the ability to track and get proof of deliveries uh, stored within the, within the solution um, helps uh, in terms of, again, proof of delivery for legal documents and, and other uh, time sensitive material. So those are the, those are the main benefits, but I would say uh, cost accounting and invoice reconciliation and just keeping track of the cost is probably the most important. Thanks, Bob. Um, Jim, why is integration of shipping functions important for same day in particular? Well, that mostly is attributed to the increasing demand. So as we see, as I mentioned before, the, the come to work items, the, the items that the retailer must keep in mind when approaching their consumer and following through the following them from the path, uh, the entire path of purchase. So any type of manual shipping that may be uh, a source of problems. And, and this is important for a same day to be integrated in that space. So eliminate that. Um, you want to stay within the current business platform that the customer is actually using. So that way, same day can be facilitated within the space that their employees already know. You know, because we look at the market, there's 96% of the customers consider a fast delivery to mean same day delivery. And that really changes the game. And with that being said, uh, integration will also enable the rate shopping to find the best deal uh, for the employees that are actually facilitating to meet those consumer demands. Thanks, Jim. And uh, thanks to all of you. Some great ideas there. To, uh, for companies to incorporate into their superhero action plan. Let's move to results. Um, the results that companies can expect when they get same day delivery right and the impact it will have on their business. And we'll use actual examples that you guys have come across. Um, Jim, we can start with you. Uh, can you give an example of how a company would integrate or has integrated same day delivery? Sure. Where we're seeing this is uh, typically what I call the holy grail, the retail shopping cart. Um, as many of us know, retailers uh, will shut that down during the fourth quarter. Uh, it's a no-go zone because we don't want to interfere with the path to purchase and conversion is the optimal end game. So uh, that's why it's important for companies to see this during the, the earlier parts of the year. If you're going to make that part of the shopping cart the same day delivery option, uh, it's critical that that's done that planning takes place uh, before you get to that peak season. Uh, in B2B, an ERP, for example, could choose the most efficient route uh, for intra-city delivery, for example. Um, and this also plays out in many of the legal spaces where law firms, for example, not just retail, uh, can use, for example, an existing CRM uh, that allows same delivery options across town or across state or, or across country. Uh, to close out important legal issues for. Thanks, Scott. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Lance, over to you. Uh, what's the impact you've seen through best practices in the freight market? Yeah, for um, so for those clients that have incorporated same day delivery into their their TMS strategy and into their digital freight strategy, um, we're seeing a, a very much kind of a secret weapon uh, from uh, both 3PLs and shippers uh, because they're able to deliver uh, a lot of the same day delivery is is faster, of course, and and oftentimes much more cost effective. Uh, than uh, a traditional LTL uh, freight movements. Um, so for that, for our 3PL customers, they're seeing uh, higher margins, better service for their customers. Obviously for shippers that are 
uh, very competitive in their pricing. Um, every dollar saved on, on freight goes right to the bottom line um, and or uh, direct to the, the, the customer's cost reduction. So um, uh, ideally, and, and through best practices, they incorporate a same-day strategy that lays right in with their, their freight routing and all of the workflows that, that their folks are used to using. Um, that's been the most successful adaption. Thanks, Lance. Uh, Bob, over to you. Can you give us an example of a company who's benefited from same-day shipping capabilities in an office environment? Yeah, the um, the example that comes to mind is uh, a, lar a large Fortune 500 public uh, company, a financial services company, had implemented um, uh, uh, you know an enterprise uh, office shipping system across hundreds of locations and made it access available to thousands of employees. But, and so they were able to accurately account for UPS, FedEx, USPS, and, and other major carriers, but were never able to, you know, track uh, the local cour couriers or, or messenger services. So by implementing um, local carrier delivery, they were able to capture those costs. So that it gave them a, a, you know, a truer picture of their, actual transportation spend. They were also able to get proof of deliveries uh, and they were able to you know, make sure that the, the, their employees were making the right decisions uh, with regard to uh, local usage of local carrier services. So it was a big win for them. Thanks, Bob. Um, so, so some great examples and results, companies that have uh, implemented same day and different scenarios and sectors. Um, we all know that when that superhero story ends, um, it isn't always the actual end of the story. Um, there's always some lurking threat around the corner or a new drama that is starting to unfold. So let's talk a little bit about what the future might hold for same day delivery. And we'll start with uh, back to you, Bob. Um, what do you see as what's next in the same day office shipping, shipping space? Well, you know, I think as a result of e-commerce has been a real explosion of uh, alternatives for uh, same-day shipping. Um, and that, uh, that includes some of the crowd-sourced uh, delivery services that are, are starting to emerge like Deliv and, and others. So uh, we see the portfolio of same-day delivery services really expanding rapidly over the next uh, couple of years. Great, thanks. Jim, over to you. What, what do you see uh, is, as being next in the same day delivery space? Yeah, sure, Scott. Well, let's talk about why it needs to be next, and then I'll tell you what's probably going to be next. And 49% of shoppers today are indicating that same day delivery is the main reason they would shop online. You know, it's a decision factor. So we've changed the game. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, the demographic of that has changed, right? So as the buyer becomes younger, 18 to 34, for example, uh, you see the discretionary income is usually higher and the same day experience is usually a foot in the water phenomenon. They try it because it sounds really, oh, it'd be great to get this today. And then after they're pleased, it becomes sort of a, an expectation and, and as we mentioned to some stats before about how that may or may not uh, influence that path to purchase. So, so what's next? I would look at the emergence of IoT and the impact on the market, right? And the autonomous vehicles, um, announcements like companies like UPS where they're making a drone uh, airline and, and delivering the same day. Um, the increase in demand for that shorter delivery time continues to rise. And with that, the expectations rise. And then with that becomes the relevancy for the retailer to exist in the market, to have what's unique and a differentiator today. And it's expected, it's, it's kind of a nice to have today. And it's, like I mentioned before, it's gonna be expected tomorrow. So that I think you'll see a, a bit about more proliferation of the, the product of, of that offering. And then in closing, keeping up with local brick and mortars uh, for same day. 
Uh, a lot of retailers are leveraging that brick and mortar advantage if they have it over a strictly e-com platform uh, to fulfill same day. Uh, whether, let's say for example, she's purchasing a blouse and it's not there in that color, uh, store associate can bring up a tablet, uh, find that with an inventory and fulfill it the same day. And that really changes the game and brings that, uh, that, that factor to the retailer that differentiates them. So keeping up with that local brick and mortar capabilities for same day delivery is, is a part of the critical things that I see growing in the space. Thanks, Jim. Um, Lance, similar question. How will same day services impact traditional LTL strategies for heavy commercial shippers? Yeah, I, I think uh, Jim hit it on the head um, talking about the the market, uh, where the market growth is going in that I want it today uh, kind of mentality. I know it is with my kids um, uh, and, and their phones, but I think in the long game, what we're also seeing is um, it, the same day in the in the more traditional heavy haul um, uh, type of services, uh, it's been um, uh, very broken up, small, uh, very localized companies. We're starting to see a lot more consolidation um, and a lot of investments coming into those uh, those traditional, very localized provider that are now covering uh, some that are covering multiple states uh, with local same day service providers. Um, the technology that uh, the, those same folks are using has been dramatically upgraded um, uh, to make them more accessible to to pull into that uh, that that digital freight and that digital logistics economy. And I think on the on the near term future, um, you see a lot of traditional uh, logistics companies and and large shippers even that are are seeking to incorporate that for the first time. And I and I where we're seeing uh, that come together uh, is, is is being able to pull that um, uh, in in a, in a small way first, uh, starting with a, uh, a specific product line or a geography, um, and then really expanding it out from there. Um, that that has been kind of the uh, starting to see lots of toes in the water on the on that side. So it's been good. Thanks, Lance. So some pretty uh, great. I don't, don't want to say cliffhangers, but lots of things to look forward to in the future of same-day uh, same delivery. Um, so we'll move now before we wrap up just to um, any questions that you might have. Um, I have one from Mark in the audience. When using a marketplace, how can same-day service work in terms of providing tracking information back to the marketplace? And I'm not sure who would be best suited to answer that. So if you want to speak up. I, I will, I'll take a shot at it. I think sure. we can all take a shot at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a superhero. Um, you go first, Bob. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's, um, I mean, what's happening, and I think, with, you know, the theme that's running through this, uh, through the various uh, questions or, you know, comments is uh, same-day shipping is just becoming another carrier mode where it was, kind of uh, an edge case for transportation management systems. It's very much now uh, needs to be in the mix because companies need to be able to um, accurately uh, execute those shipments and keep track of costs. So I think um, for those uh, merchants, e-merchants that are um, using marketplaces to sell uh, and then pulling down orders and shipping them, the availability of, of having uh, same day shipping uh, services uh, available within the within the platform are, is really important. I, I'd echo Thanks. that too, Bob. Yeah, and, yeah and go for it, Lance. Just a, just a lay in from folks that are traditionally they're getting updates back from whether it's LTL or even the you know breadcrumb tracking on a on a truckload side. Um, what we've seen is the the same day delivery folks that that are using a a pretty good and respected uh, um, operating system of their own. Um, they have very good and 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 very capable uh, uh, push feeds, you know, through API to be able to update that through uh, a marketplace or, or or tracking tools. So, in many cases, we've seen better technology coming out of this the same day folks than 
than we've seen in in more traditional freight uh, capabilities. So I'd say it's it's very possible. Uh, thanks, Lance. Uh, Jim, do you want to weigh in on that, or you you feel like we answered it? Well, I, I could add to it. You know, with the market heading towards uh, close to ten billion by twenty twenty five, that's right around the corner, and the marketplace is is the space that I think you'll see a lot of drive for this opportunity, especially intracity on the the bike couriers and things of that nature as they bring products. As long as that consumer is able to order within the window to make same day. Um, you're, you're going to see continued growth, uh, not only along the subject matter as the uh, same day, but particularly in marketplace, I think. I, I will add one other thing to pile on. Um, <laughs> even the marketplaces are, you know, building out fulfillment facilities, adding to fulfillment facilities uh, worldwide. So uh, they want to get closer. They want to get their inventory closer to uh, consumers and so in doing so they can uh, you know they can achieve uh, you know same day delivery capability uh, at a at a cost that's uh, reasonable so I think that's going to drive a lot of uh, same day delivery volumes great thanks um, I think it's probably in a similar vein this question uh, when will we see delivery by date and time versus defined services Lance, that's probably a good one for you, huh? Yeah, we uh, there's a in in a lot of the commercial industrial there's a there's a must arrive by date um, that we're used to seeing already, um, and and certainly scheduled appointments um, uh, that are are very typical, especially in in high volume operations uh, uh, that are looking for uh, very specific dock and delivery times. Um, those windows um, continue to narrow, um, and uh, it, not only just to combat congestion at uh, at the receiving docks um, or, or 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 pickup docks, but also um, uh, just to keep in the yards the yards moving and the trucks moving in and out uh, quickly. So uh, I think that that exists today if if there is a need um, uh, on the home delivery side. That certainly um comes with the typically premium uh services um but but absolutely exist today i guess i would add that uh you know most tms systems um do some kind of routing either you know basic or advanced but it it, it selects uh carrier services based on you know delivery criteria i think what we can expect in the near future is for um, machine learning or artificial intelligence to actually look at historically when do the carriers that are being selected actually deliver? You know, what is the probability of, um, you know, a, a particular carrier service delivering on time? And that, um, that's pretty exciting because uh, if, you, if you can afford to sort of downgrade this, 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 the level of service and yet achieve the same kind of result, uh, you could save uh, quite a bit of money. Great, thanks. Um, there's two more questions so far. Uh, one is related to pricing, um, but more on the end consumer perspective. What are consumers willing to spend for same day? Is it a premium price? Is it a regular price? Anybody want to take a stab at that? I think it depends upon the industry, um, but from what we're seeing is they're not charging consumers, at least in the B2C arena. Um, they're not charging consumers for the, for the, you know, premium service. I think uh, Amazon just uh, announced that prime prime uh, subscribers would be able to get same day services for free. Yeah. So the answer is not very much. Um, <laughs> great. Well, hey, Scott, um, I'll, I'll just I'll leave one thing just back to that. It's, it's not for another panelist. It's just it's just an insight. And it's specifically from retail touch points dot com about the payment, because that is a very interesting platform in terms of, you know, who's going to pay for this. And, and initially, initially, we're talking uh, close to 88 percent of consumers are willing to pay for same day. So if the uh, 
and I think Bob hit it on the head because it, it does depend on the the vertical you're talking about. But we, I would generally think, and not necessarily the younger genre, that if you're buying something that's you know north of 150, 300 dollars on a checkout, you might be willing to pony up for that. And with statistics like 88 percent, it's it's definitely a spot that a lot of retailers need to be quickly. Mm. Just a little color to that last question that was two back. Yep. Great. Thanks, Jim. Um, so we'll we'll wrap things up for today. Uh, thanks to our audience for attending. I hope you've uh, learned something and enjoyed it. Um, also wanted to thank the ConnectShip team for hosting and uh, in particular, Krista and Ludwig and Steve and behind the scenes who've done a lot of work to, to pull this off. Um, and I'll just say in closing that ConnectShip Banyan technology and PeerBridge, we're not just partners on this, this uh, panel discussion, we're actually partners in real life. Um, maybe not at the same level as the Avengers or X-Men or Justice League, um, but we are developing powerful shipping technology that can save the day in many organizations. Have a great afternoon and happy Halloween. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Kat.